Hello, in this video we will learn how to install the latest version of Primavera Basics on a Windows PC. I am currently using Windows 10 and the procedure is same for Windows 8 or even Windows 7. In our previous video we saw how to download the setup from the Oracle website. So once you have downloaded the setup, you will have these files in your downloaded folder. Go to the location on your PC where you have saved the downloaded files and you will find these. Out of the four files, we just need one file, which is 5947. It's a zip file, so we need to unzip it. Once this folder is extracted, we'll open the folder and you will see P6 Pro R 2012, which means P6 Professional Release 2012. Again, when we open it, there's another zip file inside it, which we again need to extract. After extracting this zip file, Open the folder and you will find these three files saying x64 and the final one is the p6 professional setup. Right click on it and run as administrator. In the installation setup, select typical and click OK. Then on the next window, click install and the installation process shall start. Depending upon the speed of your PC, it might take a few moments for the package to install. Remember the setup is only available for 64-bit systems and it doesn't work on 32-bit systems. Once the installation is complete you will reach to this window where it says the operation you requested has been completed successfully and next step select run database configuration and click OK. Now we will configure the database for our Primavera setup. After clicking OK you will see the database configuration window. Here, go to the driver type and select the last option, P6 Pro Standalone SQLite and then select Add a new standalone database and connection. Then click Next. Here, set up your username and password. You can keep the login name as admin and your password as admin as well or any other password of your choice. On this setup page, you can change the base currency, the currency symbol and the abbreviation. You can do it later also, so we will leave it like this for the moment. Then click next. After that, you can choose your database location. I'll keep it as default and you can choose a location of your preference. If you want to load the sample data present with the P6 setup, you can check this box here. But if you don't want the sample projects to load, you can uncheck this box. I'll leave it as such and click save. Once this is done, I will close the database configuration setup and then go to your search bar and type Primavera. And in your search, you will find this P6 Professional 20. Double click on it to open the Primavera setup. This will open the P6 Professional 20 login window. Put in your login name and the password we set during the configuration and click connect. Once you click connect, you will be able to log in to your Primavera P6 Professional. These are all the sample projects that have been loaded. So this is how you install Primavera P6 Professional 20 on a Windows PC. Thank you.